What's up, everybody? I'm trying to come up with a name for this channel. I need something a little bit more official than Mini Trucker for Life or Scraper Six Nine Mini Trucker for Life. It's 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 not an it's not a proper name. I'm trying to come up with a new name, and I'm also trying to come up with a uh, uh, with a uh, with with a logo. And just become a little bit more official. I know my channel has a lot to do with teaching and, and all that. I thought about like mini trucking 101, but I don't want to just make it so that it's all just about mini trucks because we are going to have the, the Toyota 86 and we're going to put bags on it. Uh, maybe something along the lines of, of bags or something like that. I, I'm, I'm not really sure. So, I mean, if you guys have any suggestions or ideas, I'm, I'm very open to that, but I want to make the channel a little bit more official. Uh, I, I changed it way back when for what I don't know I just threw something out there but then that way we'll have something that we could go on to create an actual logo and and, and sticker for uh, my channel so if you guys can give me some suggestions that would be greatly appreciated so for now let's get back over here to and uh, I'm gonna be working on the truck today all day I've got today is Saturday and I've got all day today. I got to go go to work tomorrow on Sunday and head to Chicago. But what I'm going to do today, I'm using my tripod as a pointer, is uh, we're going to actually take this off. We're going to get the axle off. I'm going to clean up the axle as best as I can so that we can go ahead and paint the axle and get that done so I don't have to take it back off again. Uh, I know I said I was going to do this later, but there's no point in being this far along and then... <laughs> N not not doing anything to it i'm not gonna i'm not really gonna be attaching anything else to the to the axle so i'll make sure that i figure everything out that i want to do or not do to it and uh get this all put together so then we'll put the link bars on we'll get the bags uh, attached to the upper and, and lower link bars uh, or to, to the upper bag mounts, lower link bars, get the bags on, and then by the end of the day, we should be able to be on shop air, is what I'm planning. I just thought of something that does need to be welded back onto the axle. So anyway, yeah, clean that up, and I'll be able to, I think there's uh, a couple bolts for the, for the brake line to uh, make sure that that's on there right. So I may check that first and make sure that I get that done before I start on everything else. <sighs> talking really fast I had coffee this morning um so yeah let's just see how much I can get done today and we will see you guys in a minute all right I got the next step done and this I got the axe off from underneath the truck <laughs> so what I'm doing here I've already with it on there I was I, I, I was repositioning this is from the back if we look at it from the back that's the front and from the back this is where it originally the brake line is what i'm looking at it originally mounted here and then it went down along the back side of the axle and then hooked up to here and then there was another mount over here which that's what i got that right there i gotta weld that on but you can finesse the original brake line do not shorten your brake lines your brake lines are of equal length for proportioning purposes so when you hit the brake it hits all four corners at the exact same time that's why in the front of a truck you'll see it's coiled because every brake line is the same length that way when you hit it it goes well they're not all four exactly the same the front are a little bit shorter than to the rear because you want it to hit the front first before it hits the rear brakes. Then you've got a proportioning valve on a Toyota truck that helps to level that out if you have a load because it's gonna ride differently with a heavy load on it, which with a bag truck, that's almost not possible because you're adjusting the level of the suspension anyway. So that's why on this particular truck, I'm gonna actually delete the proportioning valve and, uh, not put it on there because well i don't want it so i mean you guys can argue with me but it's gonna get taken off so if some of you know how to uh how how to do a delete 
I'm thinking I got to run both those lines together in a way that it's it still kind of, I don't know. Uh, some, some, somebody please help me out on how to delete that. I'm going to look on some forums and we'll figure it out. So anyway, uh, you can finesse this. Do not use a hard, uh, edge. Like don't put it on the edge of this and try to bend it cause it's going to fold and crease. You have to use round like your fingers or the edge of the axle to round it out and do your best to reorganize it without kinking it. If you kink it, you're going to need a, to get a line the same size as what you already had. So this is what I did because I got to go behind the link bars and then across the front, but I also need it to be low enough to where it goes under the C-notch and not on top because we don't want it bottoming out and then end up smashing that so i'm going to mount that one right there so it's hard mounted and then i need to make i got one more mount that i can put over here to mount this up right there so that it's solid and then that way it doesn't move from all of the jumping up and down if your brake line moves too much it could cause it to crack eventually so we're going to take our time and put this on correctly that way we don't have any problems with our brake braking power uh, I'm also, while I've got this here, I'm going to go ahead and clean it up, like I said, and get it painted. And uh, so we'll be right back. I'm going to try to get as much of this done as I can right now. And then I got to go to the store to get paint because I'm out of paint. All right. We got that welded in. So now this one can sit right here on that one. Nice and neat. This one's already welded up on this side. So now that one is set up for that. Now I'm gonna take the brake line off now that it's set. And then that way I can clean up the axle so I can get it ready for paint. Well, my little girl. She still acts like a little girl. I love it. <laughs> All right, I got the rear end covered in uh, Undercoating is what I did. Let me go over here and get up. I'm waiting for it to dry in this. It's like 80 degrees outside, so it's not bad at all. Got a little bit of texture to it. Cover it all the way from one side to the other. Now I need to get it back underneath there. I got the brakes cleaned up as best they're going to go. So yeah, it's time. And then I am going to be cutting the emergency brake cable off because I won't be using it. I was I thought about putting it on there, but a mini truck's emergency brake is laying it on the ground, right? Right. That's what I'm going to do. Get that squared away and get right back to you guys. What? All right, I don't even want to tell you how much of a pain in the ass it was to put these back on. <laughs> it was like 15 hours straight. 15 hours straight. No, we got it though. Uh, got the brake line in there like we said, and then we got we put the lower link bars on first, and then we put the upper link bars on, and everything went together just fine. I got to get this bag mounted on the bottom, put this bag in, get mounted on the bottom, and uh, then go ahead and tie them together. We can throw some rims on here real quick. Uh, I might go ahead and put the brakes on. If I can get the brakes together and then the wheels on, then I won't have to take none of that apart again. All I'll have to do is bleed them later. So that's what I'll end up doing today. It's late in the day, we're gonna take a break. My hair is like, I was just, you ever feel like this? I don't even want to go no more. This is how she looks at me like, you're just a weirdo. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go inside and cool off. <laughs> we did a little something just now because, uh, yeah. hey, let me show you. We've got this right here. One line going out to a splitter, splitter going up to each bag, and yeah. 
Come here. <laughs> Come here. You gotta stand back here, and so that we can see everything. I'm still counting, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Have to go farther because it couldn't see the thing that you're touching. Well, just stand on the other side of that, then. Hold on. Take it over here. Because we got to get the truck, too. Yeah. <laughs> you can stand right here, and that would get everything right here. So many thorns. Oh, I left the hammer on there. <laughs> anyway. Well, I we can't see the thing that you're holding touching right now. There you go. Okay, that's not. Hang on. There we go. That's it. That's that. I gotta get the. I gotta go turn the compressor on. That's exciting. Like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> That's a Georgia Siwa song. Oh. <laughs> that, that's where you got that from. No, I did not get that from her. <laughs> I got that because I've been saying that as long as I've been around and my <laughs> dad said it before I did. So, I mean, it's... Yeah, that's that's very old. <laughs> and very old saying. Judge Siwa turned that into a song, so. Right, there you go. That's what I'm thinking. Oh my god. Watch him watch him put the tools up. Yep. <laughs> that's what I do. I gotta put my tools away. That way I know where they are. Ta da. Okay. What? Because <laughs> I'm still putting stuff away. Uh -huh. Okay, I gotta take this off of here. Oh. <laughs> All right. The truck farted. Looks like I need a one-way valve on that because uh, that let all the air out. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, that means that that, uh, that particular valve leaks in a backwards direction. Ooh! Yeah. Huh. Well, anyway, I'll have constant pressure on it, but I'll, I'll have to put a, a, a check valve on there so that the air can only get in. It can't get out on just that. So, yeah, I'll have a check valve on that. So the other thing is I need to go turn the compressor on and we'll do something else after that. So go ahead and stop it. All right, so <laughs> the compressor in the shop, the switch burn up on it. So now it won't turn on. The uh, battery in the mini truck is dead because I need a new battery. The uh, Ability to create air <laughs> is non existent. I get the truck ready to be able to air the whole thing up, and I can't because <laughs> I have no air anywhere. <laughs> I have another compressor in, in uh, storage, but I don't want to go over there and get it. <laughs> this is freaking incredible! Absolutely incredible. I mean, I've got shop air going to that, but there's no shop air. And then up here, we've got jumper cables out trying to hook up the compressor to the battery with jumper cables. And it went, and it got it to just barely up. And it said, no, I can't do it anymore. So now we're just going to put things up. Gina's on the way with some rib crib. Much needed right now.
Maybe I can figure something out by morning. It's already 8 o'clock. Everything's closed. So I can't even go get a fucking battery. Even if I wanted to. I'm just like really disgusted right now. 8 o'clock Sunday morning. I am uh, going to go to the storage. I need a compressor. I got one other little shop compressor that I haven't used in two and a half years or three years, four years. It's like brand new. So hopefully it works. Hell of a time that I'm having. But the rear end is pretty much done. I've got a couple more spots I need to weld and just make sure that it's done right. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be able to, I'll be able to air it up once, as soon as I get back. So yeah, walk in April real quick. We'll go over there and do that. I don't have much time I got to leave today. So when you see this video, it's like, I'm already working. So April, you ready to go? Huh? You ready? Where'd she go? Wow. She's like, yep, I'm ready to go. Open the truck up. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. I'll get into this some bitch. I hope like hell that it's not stuck underneath a bunch of shit. That would really, really, really suck. Where is it? We sold the bikes to uh, Brad and Gloria, so we don't have the beach cruisers anymore. And, uh, this was all the Mazda stuff. I had it all set up. You want to see some parts that are hard to find? Either that or they're really expensive. We've got a full set of five of these. Crazy, huh? What else I got in here? A eh, whole bunch of stuff. Look at these. Who's got a full set of clear corners for a Mazda? I do. Oh, fuck. There it is. I got to get the mirror out of the way. I got to get that Toyota Valance. That's another 4x4 Valance. Here, let me clean the lens. That might help a little bit. Maybe. i put my hand on the side over here. Okay. I guess it's not. I guess it could be worse. Let me get that out of there. Is there anywhere I can put this? Or you guys would be able to watch? Na 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 na. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out a spot to be able to put something that I can lean the phone up on. So you guys can watch. Hmm. That'll work. out of the way, this out of the way, this can go over here, this is why I leave a narrow path right down the center so I can still get to everything, you go into some people's storage and they're not very well organized and then they bitch when they want to try to get something, what's that? Over there. Oh, no shit. The wheels are caught behind another box. Fuck. That's not even on it. Stuff. I don't want everything falling out on the ground. 
some of this stuff is balanced. Okay. Yes! Success! Look at here. This little thing has been around a long time. Some of you probably remember when I bought this. I bought this when I still lived in the other in the other house. <sighs> okay, let's get it out of here. You know, I probably could use this right here on mine, but I'm not going to. Look, this is how freaking anal I am about certain things. I had, I've never took the plastic off these. I literally had bought this, and then all of a sudden, the bigger compressor was given to me. So it's barely, barely been used. It had been outside for quite a while at one point in time. <laughs> There's like not even any rust on anything. All right, <laughs> let's get this locked up. Oh, maybe I should. Okay, it's out of the way. I'll pick it up next time. Trust me, this is something else. I have to have that string put in there. I can't can't do it without the without putting that string in there. It messes me all up. Can I do this with one hand? Maybe not. I can't do it. It's to twist that way, right? Got it. <laughs> Get out of here. What are you still doing here? You didn't get out? <laughs> He's so good. Oh, let's get the hell out of here. That's alive right there. Not a care in the world. Just, I want to smell something. <laughs> Sexy. Drag this out of here. All right. Let's get this set up over here. That way we can air everything up. I need to get that extension cord over here. Get this turned on. I'm gonna be real mad if this don't work. Moment of truth. <laughs> like Old Faithful. Well, I mean, it better work. It's brand new. I've only broke one wheel off of it. <laughs> but if you want to go mudding, you only go mudding on the left. A little mud tire. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let that air up and then uh, get this opened up. All right, we got everything set up. Let me get this just right. That way we can watch. Okay, go up in the air. First we do the first one, the front one. Now these don't want to go. <laughs> what the hell? Um. That's not working. Did it work yesterday? I 
having technical problems. Alright, so I got a sticky valve. Needs to be used more. Well, that's full lift. That's all I got. I can put spacers in the rear. I think I can get maybe another inch or two out of it. But that's that's going to be it. But then again, I, I didn't create this to ride way up in a high in the sky and be able to clear cinder blocks. I'll be able to, I'll be lucky to clear roadkill. <laughs> I know a lot of you are wanting to see this right here. There we go. Let's watch this right here. Let me get over here and reconnect everything. That's all the way up. Better be careful when I drop that hood. Maybe we get a different perspective over here, huh? Let's get this on the ground. Be right back. All right, different perspective. notice that's measured out just right I mean it's literally like maybe a half inch off the ground and that's with the front end all the way that's so even if I was to drop it all the way down those rear link bars are not gonna drag I think the gas tank will drag <laughs> faster than those will let's bring it back up that way y'all can see that. Now mind you, I will never, never, ever, ever, ever ride that high. One more angle I might be able to get. Let me turn this around on this. There, how's that? How's that for a camera angle? So you guys can see how everything works. See if there's any flex. Well, let's let's see how much flex there is. No flex. That's 300 pounds on the back, right at. Let's go ahead and bring it down. And that's like on the axle right there. Oh, 
about one one more angle. This angle right here, this is for the haters. Is it flexing? I'm just wondering, I can't see it right now. Is it flexing? No? Just wondering. Go ahead and bring it down. How's that look over there? What do you guys think? Alright, let's bring it back up. There it is. I really don't know it in any other angle. Well, maybe. Maybe I do. Maybe I got one more angle in me. If it don't fall off the back. <laughs> Let's let it go down. There we go. That's all the way down. And one more time up. I'm liking that. Hey, right, let's bring this up a little bit more. And then that way I can hold this out a little bit further. That's it. That's what I'm gonna get done today because I gotta get all my shit done to go back to work. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I turned this into an over 30 minute video just by showing you guys my suspension. We all, we've already watched the front, so we don't need to watch the front. I, you know what? I wonder if I can, nah. I was gonna say, I wonder if I can get them to uh, both go at the same time. But I can't. April's down here just chilling. She's like, that's a good looking truck. <laughs> See, she's looking right at it. All right, everybody. Go build your rides. Go do something. Can't nothing stop you. I mean, Stuff right now can stop you, but eventually it, it can't stop you forever. So, so, so let's put it this way. You can't be stopped. Not forever. You're still going to build your trucks. You're still going to see your shows. You're still going to have a good time. Won't be long. I got to get a few more things buttoned up up here in the front. And then uh, that'll be done on that because I got to install the shocks. I still got to install shocks on the back because there's no shocks. So that's why I aired up all the way. It doesn't bounce that hard. And, uh, yeah, so freaks and all the other clubs, man. I love every last one of you. You guys are just amazing. I love hearing your stories. I love hearing you guys come forward and say, I've been watching you for years. It, 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 it's, it's truly, it truly hits me in the heart. And uh, I appreciate every last one of you that's sticking around. I appreciate the ones that love me. Appreciate the ones that hate me. You know, it's some of that hate helps drive you to doing better stuff. So I will see you guys on the next video. Comment at the bottom. Thumbs up. We'll see you guys later.